Improvise, adapt, overcome. Proposal for refining sports activities for people to adapt to the current pandemic situation and to be the better of before. How can we create reorganize an urban environment that responds to the pandemic and promotes alternate ways for safe sports training? The world is fighting the pandemic and its impact on our lives. It has become a global emergency and people are finding ways to resolve them. The year 2020 has been hard for people who are connected directly or indirectly to football as it is required to be confined at home. Huge losses have been faced till now due to COVID-19 and people who possess an uncritical enthusiasm or zeal for football have found themselves in a unique situation in which they have to stop there. Training activities and specific recommendations must be followed concerning the type of training, its intensity and all the necessary measures to avoid the contagion and to perform in accordance to the restrictions. The effect of inactivity confinement on athletes. A study led by Mark Madrugapa Rera, strength and conditioning coach at FC Barcelona's second team, has analyzed the effects of 49 days of confinement for 30 semi-professional football players. As shown in the figure, the hamstring muscle strength during this exercise decreased 4.4% between days 14 and 49 of confinement, which results in a 14% loss of eccentric strength. Low strength of the hamstring muscles is a significant risk factor for getting injured. Hypothesis Finding opportunities that creates an urban environment to shape the city's football master plan at local levels and to uplift it in the near future. Allowing the network flow of people in specific regions and subregions such that the strict restrictions that must be followed remain intact. Despite the fact that people can move from one region to another, it is assured that people still continue training themselves even at times of strict lockdowns, red alerts or global emergencies in the future. Involves use of specific equipments to be used for strength training usually in public spaces, parks, plazas, informal meeting spaces, etc. wherein only six people at the maximum can indulge in any outdoor sports related activity. People return to sporting activity outdoors as training outdoors has proven to be more useful and efficient in contrast to training indoors. Stressing on customized solutions for equipments and games can be helpful wherein players can train develop at individual levels before jumping into games organized at competition levels. It is necessary to look at the unitary level of organization wherein people can break away from the 11 aside topology and have interactions at smaller levels. Our project focuses on alternate training methods to uplift the football master plan in an urban environment and that people continue training even at times of strict lockdowns or red alerts. One such alternate training methods to look at is FUTIC. Sport and show made in Barcelona, sports revolution in the streets of Barcelona, of talk touch football in Catalan. That is the etymological, Futic origin, a sport that was born in Barcelona almost a decade ago, but in recent years is growing and is expanding Catalonia and other regions, even internationally. Potential sites where tables can be functional includes beaches, plazas, parks. A single table itself can accommodate four people to play an area of 45 square meters. This discipline that mixes football and table tennis expands in Catalonia. Barcelona players like Neymar and Xavi Hernandez have pleaded sport buffs helps improve technique. It is a sport to improve the technician of the touch with the ball, but also to laugh, to have a good time at it and joy of the ball, to share it and compete. The futic finish being an Olympic sport. And why not? Why Futic? A clear urban vocation, mix of table tennis and football. Encourages kids, as before, something lost to technologies. Dynamism, fun sport and technique development. Flexibility and distribution, can be made functional at various locations. Age no bar, possible solutions for not just kids but to people of all age. Maintaining physical fitness is important, but the training should be modified accordingly in order to keep it safe and tailored to the new conditions. Thank you.